Here we go now. Chocolate boys like Willy Wonka. Pretty fine babes wanna dip the vodka. Come here, big job, put it up on it. My name is Ray. If you Google rave, you're going to see energetic, colorful, something that has that feel. I can't, I can't really put my finger on it, but something that's just there. It's noticeable. That's why you could say he is the rave of the moment. Right now, I am the rave of the moment, and that's why I am rave. So whenever you see me, I want you to always remember positive vibes. Don't do drugs. And your creativity is going to get you wherever you want to get to. Just believe and focus. Galala boys. Why I decided to start doing music was because I feel dancing, yes, dancing is a major part of my life, but I feel adding music to it is going to give it much more value, much more value and take it to a greater place than just dance will take me to. What makes me feel my music is going to be accepted or different. Actually, it's actually different from every other style of music currently and I feel gradually I'm trying to reach out to my own people like they say the sky is big enough for every bird to fly so I believe I have my fan base somewhere in Nigeria somewhere around the world so and I'm not I know I'm going to get to them eventually first of all let me start from the beginning about the title I bad like that some people when they hear the title they say ah you this boy, you're fine, you're like this, why are you a bad boy, why are you calling yourself a bad boy? And I'm like, no, it doesn't mean I'm a bad boy. It simply, it simply answers a question. I'm a singer, I'm a dancer, I'm an energetic performer. So when you see me perform on stage, you have this, people normally have this impression that there's something else, there's something different, something new, maybe I'm taking drugs or something. And they always keep asking this question after every performance, like, guy, the performance was good. What did you take before going on stage? What did you do before going on stage? And I've been answering and answering. So I, did, I decided to come up with these four simple words. So anytime you ask me that question, I just tell you, guy, I bad like that. And from there, people just start getting hang of it. The, the response I've been getting, when the song starts at first, it's a new song, it's a brand new song, getting to new people. So they're like, okay, what is this singing about? Shady boy, fine. Shady boy, make it the girls, them dirty wine. They're like, ah, this boy is bragging about himself. But when it gets to the chorus part, that's the catchy part where you hear, calm down, I bad like that. When you do the first chorus, you notice the crowd, you notice everybody starts smiling. When it gets to the second chorus, you notice everybody starts singing along. So I'm getting a very great response from it and I'm glad, I'm glad. The video I bad like that, it was a video that was actually bad like that because it was shot by one of the best in Nigeria, Eddie Isaacs of Impressionisto, just as the song was produced by one of the best too from Port Harcourt. His name is Prince Emmanuel, they call him Correct Sound. He's really, really good. So the video, the concept behind the video is like portraying what I can actually do. That's the whole idea behind the video. You don't have to show wealth all the time. Sometimes you just gotta show your stuff. And I showed everybody that I could dance. I'm a clean boy, fine boy, and I got the stuff. Go now. How it has been for me during my whole Cadley experience, I would say it hasn't, it hasn't been roses all true. So that's why I'm with Cadley. Cadley, they, they brought me from a point where I never thought I was to a point that I never thought I would get to. You understand? If you listen to my first song, down to the second, to the third, to the fourth, you, you see improvements. And that's how it keeps going to get better. Better and better and better till one day it, it's going to get to the point where I don't have to explain so much anymore. Basically, most challenge you get in the music industry is being accepted into the whole music game. And for me, I could say it was double because I was coming with something new, something fresh, something that's not like the everyday thing you see. So that's one of the basic challenge, getting used to by the people, getting into the media section, building relationships and all that. Plans for 2018 is getting into the big market, getting into the major stream. And as I'm speaking to you right now, plans are being made. We're going to have more videos, more audios, big collaborations, working with big super, super producers like the likes of Mastercraft, Chris Beats, Young John. You understand those guys up there because now I want to take it now to the big dogs. We're taking it up there. Alright, before I leave y'all, I'm just going to tell you this, for all the fast rising acts out there, 
the upcoming artists, the ones that were me before. Whether you sing, whether you dance, whether whatever you do, just keep your head in the game. Don't do drugs. Stay positive and believe in yourself. Why? Because you're bad like that. My name is Rave, aka Chocolady Boy. Mr. I bad like that, and you're watching IGZ Extreme. Don't touch it because you say you bad like that. Be famous.